Welcome to the Interesting Podcast, episode number 91. This episode is Tamar Green, who's great. He was really cool, super fun. We were, we were cracking up the entire time. And uh, so Tamar is actually currently playing George Washington in the Chicago Company of Hamilton. And it is phenomenal. I cannot recommend it enough. My wife and I saw them uh, a few weeks back. And, oh, oh man, completely blown away by everything. And uh, it was really cool to get to know Tamar and like his, his journey as to what led him here. Uh, we talked about how he grew up in music. How his parents were musicians and that he was actually a, a piano player. He was a pianist. Um, and that was his route. That's what he wanted to do. And then uh, he may or may not have been kind of pushed into singing a little bit. Next thing you know, boom, he's trying out for Broadway. And uh, we talk about his tour as uh, on Porgy and Bess going around the country. We talk about what the auditions are like for a Broadway musical, which, man, you know what? Sounds sounds so difficult <laughs> it's it sounds like a lot of time to be honest with you um so we talk about that how it took him two and a half years of auditioning to book hamilton and then what it was like moving to chicago and uh give some good advice for memorizing lines as well and some great advice for people who want to get into that line of work so yeah you guys are gonna love him tomorrow's awesome check him out uh he's got some cool stuff going on at tomargreen.com also check out hamilton if you haven't already it's amazing. And uh, you can see Tamar as uh, George Washington in Chicago. So without further ado, here is The Interesting Podcast, episode number 91 with Tamar Green. Theme song time. And, uh, you know, I woke up. Always a good start. That is a fantastic start. You know, it's all, it's all uphill from there. Yeah, theoretically, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah. Let's give it a few hours first, just give in case. Give it a few hours, you know. <laughs> there trucks that can run by and ruin your day while walking across. That's right. You know, that. <laughs> good Lord, you are not wrong. Man. <laughs> Jeez, so you uh, got, I'm sure you've got rehearsals and stuff here in the midst of. Um, I... Wow, I got a lot of stuff going yeah. on, but not rehearsal today. Uh, fortunately, I'm getting to check out my colleagues in Les Mis this afternoon. Hey, there you um, go. So I'm excited for that. Right uh, on. And I do have rehearsal directly after that before the show. So, yeah. Of course, of course. The life of a life of a working actor. Yeah, staying busy. Fortunately, blessed with staying pretty busy. Yeah, that's that's the real thing. I always love when I hear actors are working because man, mm. there's so much. I mean, it's it's a race. It's a race all the time. <laughs> Absolutely, Whew, I definitely. Boy, oh. so you're you're in Chicago. I are I are in Chicago. Are you from Chicago? No, I am from born and raised in Rochester, New York. Oh, right on, right on. That's yeah, kind of not very close. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the furthest by any means it's a nine hour drive um so it's it's pretty it's, it's decently close that's not uh, bad nine hours yeah. isn't bad yeah it's not so bad i'm in florida so where i'm at is naples which is like all the way down i, I know naples yeah I've what? Through naples. you know yeah. naples Beautiful beaches down there. A lot of old people. Oh, uh, dude. A lot, of, a lot of my lovely, lovely people down there. Because I did that to Porgy and Bass, so we stopped down through there. Oh, yeah. Uh, a couple years ago, maybe five years ago. And dude. wonderful audience down there. Wonderful city. A lot of great stuff down there. It helps when there's nothing else to do. There is nothing <laughs> else around. That's, <laughs> I was like, there's not anything else going on. Around there. But I, I, loved, I loved it, yeah. But it does it seem like... Like a retirement spot. Like I was like, yes. oh, maybe my mom should go down there because she was looking for places in Florida. My brother lives in Miami, so she was like, oh, I might go down to Florida. I'm like, well, don't go to Miami. Yeah. You're gonna move. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> yeah. it's not for you, mom. But go to Naples; they'll take care of you there. That's right. <laughs> That's right. It's a uh, home of the newlywed and the nearly dead. It's. Newly uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's oh uh, man, so, I yeah. so I was in Chicago 
uh, two weeks ago, and uh, okay. saw your show, by the way. Uh, but oh, we'll get there. Uh, but huh. the, but that there was something that I noticed was the age difference because <laughs> we we the the taste was going on. And oh, yeah. my wife and I didn't know that. We're just like, hey, we're going to go to Chicago. We're going to see Hamilton. It's going to be great. And then everyone was like, are you going to the taste? I was like, I don't know what that is, but yes, whatever it is, I'm, I'm down for it. <laughs> whatever it is, I'm having it. Taste, <laughs> yeah, good. I taste. I like to taste. And, <laughs> and so when we got there, we're at this, we're at the taste and everyone is like in their 30s on average. And I was like, what is this? Because we've gone to art shows here and everyone is, you know, 65 <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like where where do I live? Oh god. <laughs> yeah, and like that is one, of, and that was that's one of the beauties of this the show, honestly. And again, we'll get more into it later. But like that's one of the beauties of the show because like a lot of theater is usually uh, attended to by some older elder people, yep. who are, like ready to sit down and support and like take in the culture and all stuff. So it's like one of the challenges is to get a younger audience in the seats. Sure. And, and the show does it really well. You know, I think so. Good. I mean, it's kind of a phenomenon. Yeah, for sure. Pretty nuts. So you're from yeah. Rochester, New York, so you had to have done the the theater capital of the world, the Big Apple. Ah, uh, yes. Yes, did, yes. Did you always want to do musicals? No. I am a pianist first. Oh. Yeah. So right on. I thought I was going to be a whatever pianist however pianist made money that's sure. what I want to do. <laughs> and, I a know. money pianist yeah it's money important to have goals pianist. yeah I, I didn't really didn't know what it meant at the time I was like yeah I'm gonna be at one point when I did start realizing what it meant I was like I'll be a concert pianist you know do that and then um uh things started shifting a little bit uh I'd say in high school I started singing a little bit but not really seriously and I started going to college and I started having other interests and I got like a computer information systems. I'm a computer guy as well, so I got I got a degree in computer information. Computer nice. Information. Um, yeah, and I was like, yeah, I don't know if this piano thinks for me, and I gave it a try, and I started comparing myself to other people. It took me a while to get over that. Yep. Uh, um, you know, well, we still face it all the time, but like early on, I was like, oh, I will never be better than these particular people over here or whatever. Uh, so I kind of started falling by the wayside a little bit, and then I started singing a bit more more in college and so right that's on. you know so i didn't grow up as a broadway like a broadway baby and like 12 years old saying that's me i want to do that sure no, i did, not, did at, not know anything about 10, it at 10 years old yeah. you're like i am an actor mother an actor mother Look yeah at me. <laughs> <laughs> hello and then that's pretty cool though so did yeah. do you have like a why piano because piano is pretty um, i mean it's kind of like the the instrument you can do that there's a piano everywhere. yeah 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 but my mom played oh sweet played. yeah that works played, um, yeah yeah she played at church or a couple other things she's always she was always playing around the house and i just kind of picked up and my dad loved music he's a he's a uh kind of a promoter and a dj oh cool um you know like real like vinyl dj yeah there you go <laughs> uh yeah and um he definitely loved music as well, so we, we all, we as in the siblings, all took up an instrument. That's um, cool. And I, I really took to my piano. Yeah. Is there any, yeah. is there any like cool mixes out there of piano slash like record scratches? Please Ooh. say yes. Uh, if there is somebody, <laughs> please send it to me. <laughs> yeah. <I don't> <laughs> hey, if your Probably mom's playing piano, problem. that's easy to get lessons. Yeah, well, there you go. That's <laughs> yeah, no. well, I went more. I went more the classical route. She wasn't so totally a classical person. Um, so you were like, read I see your I mean, piano, <laughs> and check this out. <laughs> and I read you. Yeah, Beethoven. yeah. <laughs> exactly. And now singing. <laughs> <laughs> she sang too, so I had to oh, man. step the game up on both. You had both to. Ends. You had to play her game. <laughs> Yeah. Oh yeah. boy. So when do you realize you can sing? Because I always wonder if it's like Little Mermaid. You know, you're just like putting stuff away, and then you start singing. You're like, oh, look at this. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it neat? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what is it? I've got twenty. You're like, oh, yeah. <laughs> look oh, at this. Look at that. Look what I just <laughs> learned about myself. <laughs> you can play yeah. your own background track. 
Right, right. Yeah. Um, I did not know for a long time. I, I Let me see. My dad actually pushed me. That's a better word than forced. Yeah. Um, pushed me to... That's true. <laughs> it depends what direction you're going, really. <laughs> right, it does. Right, in my mind it does. It's semantics. <laughs> Encouraged me. What, what's the statute to... of limitations? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it might be past that. No, yeah. no serious harm done, so yeah. I guess we're good. Uh, <laughs> There's only one way. Push me into no. um, He... Uh, Pushed me into uh, joining this gospel choir when oh, nice. I was when I was younger, and I hated it at first. <laughs> I hated, it. like I just was like, "Why am I, I'm a pianist? What are we doing <laughs> <Yeah>. here?" <laughs> I feel like what? a fool, Father. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> I'm surrounded by all these people. Yeah. Uh, what is this robe? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. That was that, that was, was kind awesome. of the. Uh, the beginning of me singing a little bit uh, was 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 in that was in that group, and I, I can't remember which came first. I think I'm trying to think of my age now. I should probably go back and ask my dad which which exactly came first. But um, anyway, I did that, and then I um, went to high school, uh, school of the arts, high school in Rochester. Sweet. And I went there for piano again. Like I'm a pianist. This is what I do. Of course. Look and, at my fingers. Uh, look at these. Look at this. Yeah. Some, you know, <laughs> <laughs> Watch them dance. Um, yes, yes, yeah. And I did that, and then and then they brought in a the the voice teacher or the or the choir teacher or whatever her, her exact role was. Um, she came in with the piano teacher and just like wanted to get to. She was involved in the interview process, I guess. Nice. Um, while I was auditioning, and then she asked me to sing something. And I was like, what is wrong with these people? Who, why? <laughs> Do you see the piano? <laughs> you, what, what is this? I practiced. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Who told you I can sing? <laughs> what is, exactly. I'm looking for my dad behind the table. Yeah. I don't know. What, uh, yeah, I was like, I don't know any songs. And she's like, uh, I'm sure you do. Sing like, Star Spangled Banner, Amazing Grace, and I'm like, ugh. <laughs> That's my day job, Karen. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know those either, okay? Yeah. <laughs> Karen's a Jamaican. I don't know. Them. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, but uh, she she got me to sing a little bit, and then that was where that kind of started as well. So high school, early high school is when I started singing just a little bit, and then um, really started taking off. In college, really, I didn't really. I, I still, I still never considered myself a singer. Sure. Pretty much until. Because you're still a I, pianist. Because I'm still a pianist. That's, yeah. what to, that's what I'm trying to be. You're ruining my dreams here. Yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> so. Oh God. Have you seen Monty Python in the Holy Grail? Yes. It's like yes, when he's yeah. like, "I don't want to do that, Father. I want to <laughs> sing." He's <laughs> 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 so, in the piano. Uh, yeah. That that's exactly. Yeah. That's exactly <laughs> that. Oh, that's amazing. That was a good uh, good rendition too. That was good. Um, Thank you. Voice. I practice. I uh, yeah. I try <laughs> I try to fit it into every conversation. <laughs> Python references. Yes, at least one. At least yeah. one. I usually end them with "I'm not dead yet." <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> I loved when uh, Will Ferrell used that in the uh, uh, was it Austin Powers movie? Yes, <laughs> when he was like that, I just fell down the mountain. <laughs> yeah. I, think I, I think I broke my legs, but I'm gonna try it out now. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, yes, definitely broken. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I was oh. like, wow, nice, nice. <laughs> Good stuff. Oh my yes. god. Did, did anyway. you, so being a being a pianist, of course. Uh, did you have like a specific piano type that you like? Like I'm, I only play the Steinway. Oh, <laughs> I, wish, I wish I only. Played. <laughs> no, not at all. I uh, we had a piano, but um, it was I don't know how my dad acquired it actually. Um, we don't ask. Yeah, don't for, ask. For legal don't reasons. even. You don't even know to ask me, yeah, right? Yeah. You don't want to know. Dad, there's blood on the side of the kettle. Yeah. <laughs> don't worry, son. It's not mine. No, it's not mine. <laughs> Everyone's fine in yeah. this room. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Whoever it is, they don't know where we are. <laughs> yes. <that's... laughs> yeah, yeah. No, 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 no uh, allegiance to any particular 
Uh, Steinway, obviously, is fantastic. Yes. Uh, but Yamaha and Baldwin are more accessible, and I played a lot of those. And um, now I play a lot of actual keyboard, weighted keyboards, because they're easier to travel. Smart. Uh, I travel a lot, so. That'll do it. You want yes, the most uh, compact thing, like any any gigging band. Yeah, it's pretty much. It's a lot of setup and takedown. Pretty much. Well, I still prefer... A baby grand that is one of my as soon as I get more settled, baby grand is one of my big purchases that I'm I'm looking forward to. That's the one. That's the something one. I thought about for a long time. I don't know which brand yet. I'm still shopping, but uh, yeah, baby grand. I don't blame you. I don't blame yeah. you. Is it is it like uh, with piano traveling or not? It, do you have to maintain practice all of the time? Like I because I played trombone for like seven years, and yeah. if you stop playing over the summer. Your embouchure kind of gets a little tender, and then you got to get back into it. Is piano the same way? Very much, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think um, one of the guys in the pit said, and he wasn't a pianist, but in general, I, I heard him say this at a talk back. It was like, if you go, he thought, like, if you went one day without practicing, you start to notice. You go two days without practicing, your colleagues start to notice, and three days, everyone will start to notice. Ooh. Uh, and I was like, wow, I never thought of it that way. And I, and I'm not sure if it's, it's, I mean, yeah, I probably, especially doing the same show, like and keeping those chops up for the show. Yeah. yeah I, could, I could definitely see that. Um, and so similarly, obviously on a bigger scale, because I'm not performing like them on piano uh, daily. It is very similar. I'll pick up certain pieces I used to play that are like my go-to pieces that I've played for 15 years or whatever. And, um, I don't practice them, so my fingers are a little not as as quick, um, and I gotta just like do my I like have to literally go back and like take it super slow or like do some scales to warm my fingers up, and it takes a bit more time to get them ready uh, to play the pieces. I'm like, man, this is really sloppy, and I'm like, ah, I'm just like hurting, <laughs> slapping myself. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, this is terrible. Do your job, fingers. Yeah. What is it? Right. Yeah. yeah. That's exactly right. <laughs> you're, now you're yelling at them, be like, I don't want to be a singer. Come on. Help me out here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a pianist. Yeah. <laughs> don't make me a liar as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's, that's, so that's that. when you first went to New York then, were you still trying to be a pianist in New York? Or by that point where you're like, I'm going to sing? Uh, Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Well, because well, I, cause I went to New York. Well, my parents, when they came to the country, my, my mom was born in England. And my dad's born in Jamaica. Right on. And, yeah. So when they came, and my mom is, she's Jamaican as well, but she's first generation British. Sure. And my dad's Jamaican. That's uh, awesome. And yeah. And so when they migrated to this country, they came to New York City. Oh, wow. Right uh, and so like, and with, you know, siblings and all that as well. So like a lot of my family has always lived in New York City. Uh, and that so helps. I was, yeah. So I was kind of always you know, in and out of New York City from time to time, but my dad moved to, I was born in Rochester because my dad moved from there to Rochester to start school, Mm -hmm. uh, and that's where I was born. Um, But, uh, so yeah, when I heard about things going to New York or or, or things in New York, um, I didn't really know what Broadway really was, to be honest, growing up. I had no idea. Also, I went to school and I went to my master's, I went to school with piano and an added voice and computer information systems, but then I did my master's and decided to do um, opera. And nice. So, yeah, the real, the the real singing. <laughs> real singing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, so I did that. And so I was still, and that was in Rochester, actually. Again, it's like Eastman School of Music. It was one of the biggest nice. music in the country. Maybe second to just Juilliard, actually. Love it. Uh, so a great school, but happened to be in Rochester, my hometown. So. Uh, I went there, and then I finished there, and I was teaching voice and piano in the area. So I did all that, you know, I was 23, something like that. Um, and then after that is when I moved to, well, basically a teacher asked me to, an old teacher, actually the the, <laughs> the same woman who I just said uh, was at the audition of my high school thing and told me to sing something. The one that outed you? The one that out of him. <laughs> sing, sing for me. You know, it was a fantasy <laughs> stuff. Uh, yeah, she sent me a message randomly. I was like, hey, this show is auditioning in, you know, in New York. And um, I know you do this style of stuff because I did, like, some wedding band stuff at that time. And I, I cool. Them 
a lot of stuff, a lot of wedding band kind of things. Uh, and she was like, well, you should go to New York and audition for this thing. I'm like, I don't, uh, I, I guess so, sure. And so I started commuting to New York to audition for things. Um, and then I booked a tour, a poor game best national tour. And that's when I left Rochester, basically. <laughs> Uh, so I still didn't live in New York City before I booked my first tour. Oh, nice. Uh, and then you didn't have to. <laughs> and then, well, and then I, I moved after the tour. <clears throat> uh, of course, of course. Uh, yeah, I moved after the tour and went to New York City. So, so that teacher, yeah, she so. always had it out for you. She did, yeah, she did. <laughs> but look, she knew what she was talking about. That's right. <laughs> Sometimes <laughs> they just know. <laughs> just know. Thank you, Miss Tara Watson. Yeah, Miss Watson. Watson. Miss Watson took <laughs> Continues to take care and support me, and she just came to the show here a couple months ago. So that's cool. She's pretty awesome. Yeah. What you didn't know is she can actually see the future. So yeah. you, can, you might want to cash that's exactly, in. That's exactly right. Yeah. <laughs> you might you might want to ask her some questions. Just in I, case. I have some I have some pretty specific questions. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna send you an email with some for me too, if you don't mind. Yeah, um, yeah, I'll try to slip yeah. them in. We'll time. out her for being a fortune teller. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you know what? That I can't be too public. That's okay? right. So you're right. You're right. Okay. I want everybody. It's, you know, it's a certain amount of readings, I'm sure. Yeah, that's true. That's I think their stuff. power is done by the ball, and it has like X amount of uses. Yeah. Yeah. We, yeah. Exactly. yeah, we're going to have to reconvene for sure. <clears throat> uh, yeah, we'll talk about this outside of the podcast. Yeah, just in case. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, touring with Porgy and Bess, <clears throat> what was that audition like? Um, so that was my first Broadway audition. I went to, uh, actually I'll say before that, I auditioned for Motown first, actually. Oh, sweet. I auditioned for, for Motown on Broadway. Motown's awesome. And, um, I think they were, let me see, they, yeah, 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 I went to New York. My first time, I heard about what it was like, and but I'd never done it, and I was like, okay, great, and I had my girlfriend at the time. Was there helping me out? I went there at some god, no, god awful early time, maybe five thirty, six o'clock in the morning, something like that, to stand out in the line uh, and wait, and just outside in the line waiting. Um, of course. And they had like they had like press actually for this because it was Motown, and you know they had a lot of good money and press or whatever. So they had people out there, and I'm standing in this line for hours and hours, waiting, going forward, and I'm like in my suit because I'm an opera singer. I've done opera stuff and this is what opera singers do. Right. <laughs> yeah, so You're I was ready. Like, I was ready in the suit. I was a little overdressed as I saw. So I took my jacket off. But uh <laughs> <laughs> still counts. Um, still counts. I had a vest, it's fine. Um yeah, and you go inside with this at this point for these auditions, they audition uh this was the this was the Motown tour that was gonna happen after Broadway, but we auditioned at the Broadway theater, actually. Right. Um, which is unusual. I have not actually heard of that in the years now after this. I'm like, that's really, really kind of, that's like old, 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 old school, like auditioning in the actual theater. Like, Oh, you got like, it right who, at the cusp. Like, who does that? I mean, it wasn't that long ago, <laughs> but it was definitely um, strange. But either way, um, that's right. inside, like audition, they had people going downstairs, uh, in the hallways or whatever of this theater. And I was like, okay, this is all right. And I go downstairs and looking for a pianist. Check. You, know, you do. And there is no piano. Oh. I'm like, oh, okay. What? I was like, what's going on here? And it's just a, just a dude with a little table um, and a, like a clipboard or whatever. I mean, you know, I was like, what? Okay, and people were just singing in the hallway by this bathroom in the, the downstairs of the theater. Oh, boy. I was like, oh, oh, this is not what I prepared for. <laughs> <laughs> As you look at your suit, you're like, oh, no. <laughs> look, yeah, I was like, oh, man, I have no idea what I'm doing here. I'm <laughs> over for 2 in this hallway. <laughs> yeah, I really was not feeling very great at this point. But, you know, I was pretty confident in my skills, but still not feeling great, so... And everyone's like singing in front of each other. Really, really weird. Like literally lined up on the stairs, looking at the person auditioning by the bathroom. It was really odd. <laughs> um, and so, yeah, went up, did my thing, whatever. Saying, I, I think it was, um, heard it through the grapevine, actually. Hey. Um, yeah, did that. And it was done very quickly. No words, just like, thank you. And I'm like, uh, uh, okay. Oh, okay. that's the worst. Waited, it's waited out here like five hours. And, is that it? <laughs> I, 
Do you Sweet. have a piano anywhere? <laughs> like, right, exactly. I mean, some frustrations. I kind of want to yeah. put some Beethoven down right now. Um, yeah, no. So I up and left. I was a little frustrated, downhearted, and left. Um, and I went home. And a couple weeks later, I got a call. And I was like, hey, tomorrow, this is Telsey. I didn't know who Telsey was at the time. Uh, this is Telsey Casting. I'm like, uh, okay. Nice. I'm like, is this a bill collector? I don't know who this is. I was like, literally like, hesitant. Like, like that's okay. not a real name. Hang up. That's not. I don't know who that is. Okay. And they're like, yeah, I'm calling because you auditioned for Motown. And I'm like, oh, oh yeah, oh hey, hey I yeah, did. Yeah. And I'm like, hey, yeah. So we wanted to call you back for Porgy and Bess. I was like, Ooh, oh, nice. Oh, okay. Because Telsey casted both, and they cast, as I know now, like most of the shows, a very large percentage of the shows, I'll say, Telsey. Sweet. Uh, in, in, in New York, and to tours and all that. So, anyway, this story's becoming longer than I anticipated, but yes. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was pretty much at that point, back and forth with callbacks, traveling from Rochester, because I didn't live in New York City yet. Rochester, New York City, hitting these auditions they were very gracious to tape a couple of my auditions for me cool um because they knew i was traveling so far and um yeah then i i booked it and like had to move to tour move to new york city to uh to to start rehearsal within like a month it was pretty big wow it's pretty big 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 move because i was like teaching i had like 30 students i had like a full full student list and um things i was doing in rochester sure so um, that was a tough move, but obviously a great, great, smart move. I dropped everything and left. That's what it takes. And that's sometimes what it takes, yeah. Man. Like a bold, bold decision. Scary, scary bold decision. I bet. High risk, high reward. There you go. Mm-hmm. There you go. That's, How yeah. long was that tour? Uh, about 10 months, I believe. Wow. So how many times did you do that show? Oh, gosh, yep. I've idea <laughs> a lot <laughs> like a lot of times <laughs> all over the country a lot of times I'm sure a couple I, I know i had a number at one point but i just can't i can't remember right now more than 12 for sure yeah i'd probably say somewhere around 400 but oh that's a lot more than 12 that's a lot more than 12 yeah oh man by that uh, point you definitely know the show <laughs> yeah yeah definitely know the show know the show when you're yeah. when you're doing something like that, because I always wonder, because Broadway shows and whatnot, like it goes for a while. Like you're doing that show if you're lucky enough for a bit. Do you like make little changes to kind of keep it fresh for you, or do you just keep honing it and get it more like perfect? Um. Well, there's there's a mix of both. Um. I there are natural things every day that you can't help but be different, you know, and have have be different, you know. It's like mm-hmm. you go to bed every night and you wake up every morning, you know, the of grace of God. Uh, that's right, that's but right. Like, but sometimes you lay on your back, sometimes you lay on your side. Either way, you get the job done and you slept, right? That's um, true. And sometimes you don't fully sleep the whole hours you need. It's all like, so like there's minor differences every day, even though you do the same routine. Um, and so like, yeah, I strive to have a successful rest to keep the analogy. <laughs> um, I like day. it. Um, every day in the show, but sometimes it, it gets a little different. Sometimes I wake up with a crook in my neck, and you know I didn't sing the snow quite as well as I wanted to. But it's just a live entity every day. So I do strive for the like perfection of it. But you, at some point, you have to like always strive for that perfection and know that you'll never. There's not really a perfect. There really isn't. Right. Right. You, know, you strive to be your best and the cleanest, and like do your work and be focused and all that. So it, it's work every day to to do that. So that's why it's like somebody asked me the other day, like, do you get tired of it? I'm like, I I don't because it's not just like, I know all the words are the same and all that, but like, it's just not, it's not the same every day, especially with like people who get swung in and people get sick and hurt and whatever. There's always something wild happening on stage or off stage for that matter that nobody sees. That's always fun too. Sure. There's always that human <laughs> element. There's, yeah, huge human element people don't know. It's like if, if anybody could just see us in the wing at a very serious moment on stage, Hamilton doing whatever, and we're, like, dancing off stage. You know? yeah. <laughs> like, no, He's about to get moment. shot. Mm. Mm. <laughs> get shot, you do 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 Get shot, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. 
<laughs> not bad dying tonight. Not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, not bad. <laughs> High fives all around. <laughs> So, right. is, so is getting sick like the most terrifying thing ever when you're doing a big show? It kind of is, you know. I take it we all take it pretty seriously. Um, and some, I feel like, like definitely, like the singers are very, 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 very serious about. I bet. This kind of thing. Uh, sometimes I find, in general, a very, very generalized statement I'm going to make here. But a lot of times I feel like the dancers move that a little bit more because they. You know, they do sing a lot, especially in our show. Yep. But sometimes they're not as in tune with the voice as we are singers, so they'll let it slide a bit more. I'm like, oh, I'm sick and blah, blah. So, like, the singer's always like, ah, get away from me. Yeah. <laughs> you know? <laughs> like, they spot it from a mile away. Like, I'm sorry, did you just cough? Like, yeah, it was just <laughs> dust. No, no, I'm sorry. I can't. I'm going to. I can't continue this conversation with you. <laughs> Everything's at super arm's length. You have sticks yeah. designated to keep yeah, it away. Yeah, sticks, hand, hand sanitizers, all kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah, you just on, throw on PRL at them. Yeah, I mean, we we do have hand sanitizer on deck, actually, literally. That's good. <laughs> That's good. Oh. Um, yeah, because it could be rough, man. And I knock on wood. I'm knocking. I have a wood table here. I'm going to continue knocking. Yeah. Uh, I'll knock on mine, too. Thank you. This is for you. Uh, Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Um, I, I, I'm very happy to be more healthy, <laughs> a more healthy person. I don't often get ill uh, <laughs> knocking again on wood. Um, and there are strategies we all do to try to keep our immune systems high, or immune system boosters and all that stuff like that, because it could take you out and you out for a couple of days. And we do get we do get paid sick days and stuff, so that's. That's nice, and we are well covered as well, so the show is never at harm. That's good. Yeah. Man. So how do you end up in Chicago then? Because that is not New York. It is not New York, but Hamilton is an entity that really lives in New York City. That's and true. And they have six companies. And oh. All companies, uh, yeah, all the companies pretty much audition in New York City, and they have that some makes sense. Experience. Yeah, yeah, makes sense. And most shows are like that. But um, most big shows, I should say. Obviously, Chicago has a great market of their own, and they do a lot of their own internal stuff here. Right. Uh, but as far as Hamilton is concerned, it is a New York City entity, basically. And so we auditioned there. I auditioned there the whole time. And they sent me here. I'm only here because they sent me here. We're all only here because they sent us here. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah just like a tour. You know, if they needed you on tour, they you would audition in New York City, and they send you send you there they did have like san francisco i believe auditions as well for people on the west coast they do that sometimes uh they might have like pockets of auditions in other places but it's very much new york city based <clears throat> makes sense the show even starts with welcome to new york so i hear you well well yeah <laughs> <laughs> like unrelated but yes it still is ironically yes yeah yeah yeah, yeah. So. new york new york well that's new pretty york. neat so yeah. what so then what are the auditions like for that especially something like Hamilton, like, I feel like there's, you know, Broadway musicals are all massive things. Like, everybody knows Porgy and Bess, everyone knows Motown, everybody knows Cats, things like that. And yeah. Hamilton, maybe just because it's, like, relatively the new kid on the block, it's, like, yeah. with the help of the internet as well, it's this oh, yeah. massive phenomenon that's just, like, everyone has heard about it like crazy. So were the, was this audition any different in process-wise to, like, Porgy and Bess? Um... It was, it's it not really different. It's the same same thing. Um, mm -hmm. it, it's just the, the specifics of the material required you to be a bit smarter and in particular with what you walked in the room with. Makes sense. Yeah. And, you know, because they want a lot of the, actually guys and, and the girls, if you're looking for a Skyler sister, they, they wanted like, um, a, well, what I decided to do was uh, taking a rap portion, some sort of rap, but I wanted them to know I could sing as well. Smart. Um, and so I, again, this is where my piano, my piano chops come in. I I arrange music a lot of times. Hey. So I, <clears throat> yeah. So I arranged uh, like a mashup sort of deal uh, of two songs, so I could use a rap that I knew and liked, 
and a song that I also liked as well, and just kind of whatever. Genius. Put them together, and I was able to communicate with the pianist because, I, again, I'm, I'm a musician. So I was able to talk to the pianist, like, hey, how you doing? So here at measure 32, and we're going to do this, and then you're going to slow down a little bit, follow me, call up Oche, and then we're going to switch into this rap that's going to happen. You're just going to fade out, allow me to rap a little bit, I'll take over. Don't, you know, like, I'm able to like, literally talk to the pianist. And yeah. Very um, so, yeah, so anyway, audition process for Hamilton is... You know, you got to be particular with what you walk in with, and um, they're very particular with who they cast. I auditioned for two and a half years for this show. Really? Yeah. Good um, goodness. You must have wanted it pretty bad. Yeah, yeah, I'd say. Yeah, definitely. Um, two and a half wow. years. Yeah, and that's a common story with, with this show. And some really? People get, some people get it pretty short. Like, there's, especially, like, the younger um cast like the you know the john lawrence and things like that like some of the younger folks mm-hmm. they um sometimes get snatched up pretty quickly out of school um but yeah there are a lot of people they're very particular with how they construct the each particular entity of the six companies that i'm talking about sure uh, because there are slight differences with each company like with you know this person might cover these two but in this company you know this company that same technical role covers different people you know, so like it just depends on the the actual like um, the creation of the people who are in it. It's really interesting. Yeah, uh, but I love it. They're very again, they're, they're hands on. All of them creatives. You know, still out at every company. They always come out uh, for notes from time to time, and it is still uh, still their project, still their baby. Still, you know, very important, very relevant, and we get notes, and we're closing here in January, and they still came out and give us notes, like, last week, you know, so <laughs> it is, it's great, it's a great company, but yeah, two and a half years. Man, that, so, if you're auditioning for two and a half years, are you doing the same thing every time you go in, or are you changing it up, like, how, I'm interested. Yeah, um, I, no, I first went in for, um, I don't think anybody, I don't know if we ever said who I am, what I am, what I do. We did it. Um, you. Say it. Say it. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm t- Tamar Green, and I, I'm George Washington. George <laughs> Washington. The general. Yeah. The general. Um, so yes, good. yes. I'm George Washington. Um, and I did not originally see myself as a George Washington. Probably best. I, I, so, <laughs> I saw myself as a uh, uh, Mulligan Madison. Oh, sweet. That would have been cool, too. Yeah, I'm like, that's a fun role. I, that's, I just wanted to have fun. I saw the show first time, and I was like, this is wild. This is crazy, and I want it. Yeah. And, uh, and I, I just was like, Mulligan Madison, that's great. I wanted to jump off Hercules Mulligan, the Taylor Spine on the video, you know, all that. Yeah. Like, awesome. You're like, I want to sneeze. Uh, I, <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> That is a good. Those are those are funny moments too. Yeah, I like I like, I like humor. Yeah, Let why not? Yes, I am a comedian. That's and right, a and a pianist, but not a singer. I mean, not you're, singer. <laughs> <laughs> you're a pianist pretending to be a singer. Yeah, see, look at that. <laughs> Got me pretty far in life. <laughs> That's right. Fake it till you make it tomorrow. That's, <laughs> That's what it. I've learned That's is the it. key. I'm gonna end while being a concert pianist, Dinah. They, yeah. <laughs> It's all about the ending, you know. It's all about, that's it, the end game, the long game. That's right. Like, as long as I go out on a baby grand, it was all that's, worth that's, it. That's all. That's all I wanted. Yeah. Oh, oh man. That's amazing. Yes. I was uh, wondering as well, like, because had you seen the show beforehand? And I did. Had... I did. Yeah, I saw it. Um. That's why I you're like two and a half years. This will be mine. Yeah. Yeah. I saw the previews in New York. I had a friend who was uh she's i think she's a2 i can't remember if it's a1 or a2 in new york right now she probably changed anyway audio sweet she's an audio person and she was the audio person on porgy and best as well oh sweet so um yeah so when she she was doing the show when it was at the public and she's like um i'm doing the show and i don't know i think you might like it actually i have the ticket if you're like free blah blah, blah. this was early 2015 i think it was um, and I was like, um, sure, whatever, I'm not doing anything. And she was like, um, sure, cool, all right. Um, and then I booked a ragtime somewhere. Sweet. And I was like, oh, I can't, I can't make it to your show. Uh, maybe when I come back. And she was like, oh, yeah, sure, totally. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, yay. They work. <laughs> oh, that's cool. You know? whatever. I mean, see you. Yeah. You know, I left, yeah. and I did. And when I was away doing ragtime, uh, I was only in Pennsylvania. I wasn't very far. Um 
that's those like two months, I think, in like February ish of 2015 is when Hamilton started blowing up for oh. us. <laughs> like, and I was like, oh, and I called her because she said the name of the, company, the show, and I was like, oh, okay, I never heard of it. And then I called her while I was away, and I was like, hey, is, it, is that that show you had tickets for? Was that the one you're working on? Is that the Hamilton thing? She's like, oh yeah, 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 that's that. I was like, wow, congrats. That's amazing. Do you still have tickets? <laughs> does, does this offer expire? Just wondering. <laughs> yeah, and it had expired. Of course. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Oops. <laughs> it definitely expired. And so that was like February-ish. Uh, when it was at Public Still. And then Hamilton did their move to Broadway somewhere around July-ish. Um, and then I was just in the city, and I did... You know, I, I tried the lottery. I was like, all right, I'm just going to go see what's open on a random. I think it was Monday that they were dark, um, that, that that a lot of things are dark in New York. But I was like, I'm out on a Monday. I'm going to see what's open. It's not everything is dark. And so Hamilton right. wasn't. And so I went and tried the lottery. I never win lotteries, but uh, I won that day. Hey, there you just go. Randomly walked by before it was huge because now you go to the lottery and there's a million people there. Yeah, for uh, <laughs> Bless you. But um, thank you. Um, but yeah, I went and won the ten dollar tickets on two ten dollar tickets. I was like really excited. I was more excited about winning the lottery than about seeing the show. Yeah, I, was, no, I, was I like, bet. I never win anything. This is awesome. Look like, at what this. Is the show? <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is pretty awesome. So it was the previews. Yeah, I saw the previews before it opened because I think it opened in August six or something on Broadway in twenty fifteen, mm-hmm. somewhere around there. And I saw it, like, in the July or something in the previous. So, yeah. And I was like, this is awesome. <laughs> <You're> like, <laughs> this is it. This is, this is it. I was there. I was sitting in front of Joe Biden. Oh, I sweet. Was like, I was like, this is awesome. And then, like, saw the show. And I've never seen a show that just did did it did it right. Did it, it being, like, the... Uh, representation, the use of the hip hop music that is like clearly a direct homage and shown respect to the original um, artists, right? Um, you know, and it doesn't shy behind any of that. He uses direct things like this, you know, that you can tell, like, oh wow, such a blunder sometimes. It makes you wonder why, you know, even bring the thunder or keep from going under is the original, and like, yeah, he just like blatantly uses these real hip hop like moves uh uh, uh, uh uh what's the word i'm looking for um popular like things from hip-hop from history and the culture and all stuff like that so it's like they did it well i was very proud to see that see people of color and lead roles it was yeah it was absolutely. very moving it was very moving and it felt like it felt like at the time i was like this is a show that will show my siblings why i do the thing i do Ooh, you know? nice um yeah so yeah, you're right well i gotta do it what you didn't know is as you walked out of that theater that day, in the alleyway was Miss Watson just nodding. <laughs> <laughs> and then she disappeared. Yep, yeah. yep. <laughs> just in a bit of smoke, and you just hear like a really, really nice little smile. And you're like, yeah, that's I it. Was, I, I always <laughs> knew Tamar. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, she's an 80-year-old witch. That's right, yeah. <laughs> it's all uh, led to this. Actually, not... <laughs> 95. Yeah. 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 She's actually 195. She just has that magic that yeah, keeps her. That's, that's, that's it. You know, you're right. Yeah. This is the part of the movie that has all the flashbacks of, like, kid you being like, I'm a pianist, not a singer. She's all right, Tamar. Okay. <laughs> In time. Yeah. I can wait. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. That's that, great. That's... <laughs> and that, I mean that's the show though. It it is super inspiring on so many levels and I love that you saw it and was like, "Oh, no, this is this is mine. This is what I'm going to do." Oh yeah. Yeah. That's pretty neat. Yeah. So then how'd you if you're going out from Madison, how'd you end up in Washington? Well, it's the team, you know, they're, they're, they're very smart. I was in a bunch of times. I'd say my first whole year was me getting callbacks for Mulligan Madison. And um, they're just like, oh, it's not, you know, we like you. It's just not right now, you know. And again, I told you the particular. I didn't know at the time. I was just annoyed at the time. Sure. But, I bet. Um, yeah. But um, they were like, yeah, we really like you. But, you know, this is just not going to work right now. 
And I was like, okay. And my agents are like, you know, that that's good. They, said, they, they like you. I'm sure you'll be back. It's not going anywhere. I'm like, okay, okay, all right, whatever. Um, and then the second year was a bit more of that. And then they added, um, I remember when um, James and Ivahart booked it on Broadway. I don't know if it was 16 or 17. I can't remember. Um, but he was the genie in Aladdin. And I was in yeah. that a lot of times. I really wanted to do genie as well. And I was in callbacks for that a lot. Um, but when he booked it, that's when they, cause he's, he's, uh, Lafayette Jefferson in New York. Yes. And, um, right at that, I was like, Hmm, maybe I could, you know, whatever. And then they like added that to my packet and I was like, Oh, that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's funny they added it. Cause I never actually didn't want to. And I actually, I could say I don't really, well, I love the role, but I was like, I don't know if I want to do that right now. I was, I think I could, but I don't want to. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Um, then I started doing it auditions. I was like, oh, this is actually pretty cool. I think, yeah, the humor, everything is really, this is awesome. And then they're like, oh, still not quite right. I'm like, oh, dang it. <laughs> I didn't want it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want this. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, but uh, then, you know, then they started, you know, I started getting callbacks, though. And they're like, you know what? Why don't we just throw in this Washington material? And I was like, oh, that's interesting. curveball. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Why not? And, and then, then um, yeah, and that, that started the serious callbacks and, like, work sessions and and things like that. And, like, yeah. That's pretty and good. Like, okay. Washington it is. So. And then they're like, also, Chicago. Also, Chicago, right. Yeah. And this all happened. A lot of people think it's like linear. It's so funny. They like, think like, oh, you go in, you're just sitting around waiting. And I was like, no, I worked a lot of shows in that time frame. I actually I actually booked this show while I was on tour with another show, with Love Never Dies. Nice. No, I would take personal days and fly to New York when the company was traveling. And I'd fly to New York and with all my two 50-pound bags and running in the audition uh, uh Telsey studio have my audition i remember i ran down there and like tom i think it was i think it was i don't don't know if i ever told him this actually tommy the you know tony award winning director tommy cal yeah i mean uh, if you count uh (laughs) yes um i remember going there and this is the first sign i had that this was a good company it's like i was just running there and um with all my bags and i get there and i didn't notice but like somebody held the door open for me and i'm like I was like, oh, thank you. And I moved my stuff inside the door and I turn around. This is just Tommy Kell, just opening oh. the door. I was like, what the heck? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> this is great. He like literally opened the door, helped me and push my bags in there because I had I was just like running to his audition. I was running to see him. <laughs> like, but I had to bring my and he didn't know he didn't know my face at the time, you know, but he was going upstairs and I had all these bags and I like held back for a minute just to like let him go in the elevator by himself for a second while I like stopped sweating from carrying a hundred pounds yeah. of luggage. <laughs> <laughs> and then I proceeded to go upstairs. You know, and I was like, but this is that that just shows you when like you, they don't have to, it shows you the, the quality of people, you know, humans and, uh, these people are. So it's sure. a fantastic company. Fantastic company through and through. That's so cool. So you're rehearsing in New York and then you get the show down and then they move you to Chicago? Or do they build the show uh, in Chicago? Well, I, I joined the, sh- the show was started in 2016. So I joined an already running entity. Right, uh, right, right, right. Because you've been auditioning yeah. for years. Obviously, it's running during that time. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, sometimes there are new companies that open up. So that's somebody else's story as well with different tours. But no, sure. but mine, I, I booked the show while I was on tour. I had to quit my tour and then move to Chicago to start rehearsals here. Um, and I was rehearsing pretty much by myself for a while and met the company. And it's about a six or seven week process of auditions. I got here last August 6th and uh, was on stage September 25th. Man. The first time. That's pretty short for something like this. <clears throat> yeah, I mean, yeah, some people think it's pretty short, but actually that's one of the longest processes really? I've had. Yeah. I wow, they want you to get it down best. fast. Yeah, I mean it's, but the, then again, it's like you're. These are eight-hour days sometimes. Like you're there all day by yourself. Yeah, you know, that's true. Six day, we work six days a week. You know, that's a lot of time. You know, it's very different than like you, you know some people. Like I've done, we, I think we, not we all, but a lot of us have done like community theater and stuff like that, and they're geared to being around people's work schedules. So like it might right. be 
twice a week for two and a half hours at the church down the street, you know, that kind of deal. Sure. And like that could be a four or five month process. But like if you're here, this is this is the job. This is the eight hours, you know, eight hours, six days a week. Um, and so you should be able to you would you would pick it up in six to seven weeks. That's a that's a good amount of focused time. Yeah, that makes <laughs> sense. I think my brain was like you said. It's like when you it works around another schedule. But if this is your schedule, yeah, that makes right. sense. That's a lot. Right. That's a lot of hours. <laughs> it's a, a lot. It's a lot of hours. And you know, we're not here for the whole all those hours. But like, you know, their potential. And then like, oh, you're doing well. Well, all right. Well, I'll send you home early today or whatever. You're like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so tired. So still t- exactly. It's still tired. <laughs> so how do you how do you memorize lines? Because I know a bunch of people do it a bunch of different ways. What's yeah. Your, what's your secret, Tamar? Uh, <laughs> I am. Um, I'm a person who I, I. I'm really good at forgetting lines. So yeah. <laughs> what I, <laughs> and I. I realized that about myself a long time ago, and it's not just lines. It's like in schools, issues. Like it was a lot of stuff. So even in school, like. Like, I have to say, like, history was not my strong suit growing up. So I always had to, like, because it's just, like, raw facts. I was like, sure. there's no interpretation. It's just, like, you had to know this happened in 1739. Yeah. In all- <laughs> no, like, it was 1776, oh. Tamar. Come on. <laughs> I see what you mean about forgetting dates. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, right. That, that's yeah, that. Thank you for that. <laughs> I got your back. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um yeah so i um i started realizing i had to i had to connect it to something else i can't remember what they call it whatever but uh i had to connect it like so like singing wise because i'm a musician i connect to pitches and music and that with the words really helps and i pick up alliteration or whatever mm-hmm. um and so that's much easier but other than that with lines i have to like write it down i have to read it and then I have to write it down so I can feel it with my mind and my brain and my hand connecting it to the words. And then I write it down. And then sometimes I write down the beginning, uh, like, the you know, once I've advanced past just the writing it down, I'm like, okay, now I'm, I'm starting to memorize a little bit. But now I'm going to write down the beginning letter of each beginning of for each sentence. Nice. You know, so there's an S. And, okay, and like, and the next one is N. Oh, yeah, now blah, 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 or whatever. And so I'll do that. And then I'll pull it away. And then... There's apps that help. I have the app that, like, I can speak if it's a if it's a conversation or dialogue or whatever. I can speak the other person's lines and then um, record my line or whatever, and like have it play back and like I play to myself. So I like speak the lines and then hear the response and whatever. Like, there's just so much stuff. So I have to for myself. I have to layer it with many different things in order for it to like become in my body. Sure, <laughs> sure. I love hearing about those processes because so many people do it so many different ways. Like I, oh, yeah. I had a uh, Randall Duke Kim on a while ago, and he was—I mm. was like, "How do you memorize lines?" Because he's been doing theater for like fifty years, and he goes, yeah. "Well, sometimes I just repeat it a lot. Other times I gotta wrestle it to the ground." <laughs> I was like, "Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that sounds about right." <laughs> yeah, some people. Like, I always admire people who like who could just repeat it a couple times and like, bam, they're done. Like, um. Yeah, that's crazy. Andrew, uh, Andrew Call, I was our King George. Yes. I've seen him one time, like, rehearsing. I can't remember what it was. It, was, it wasn't it was just something super important. It was just like we're recording for a social media thing or whatever. Um, and he looks at the paper for a couple seconds. He, you know, reads it, like, three times. Like, mm-hmm, okay, yep, yep, go to the, great. Puts it down <laughs> on his recorder and starts recording. I was like, I hate you right yeah. now. Like, <laughs> the level that I hate you is just... <laughs> That is unnatural. Whoa. It is un- it's not cool. <laughs> I would be like, no, I need you to hold the paper up on the other side of the camera so I can read while I'm done. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> like it's 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 wild. Um, but uh And see you know, that, we all that's another it. look into your process because George Washington also hates King George. I'm seeing this. <laughs> it's all one hand washes the other tomorrow. <laughs> that's right. And for to add insult to injury, we're in the same room together in the dressing room. Yeah. So <laughs> Or just us two there. That's called method. Force the right. <laughs> <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> oh my god, it's amazing. So how oh. many shows of Hamilton have you done? Um, I count usually every hundred and so like now I'm I'm between three and four hundred. So Ooh. like 
the wow. three, you know, probably three forty ish or something. I'm not hundred percent sure right now, but that's yeah. crazy. Three hundred, good amount of shows. Ooh. Yeah. Do you, Do you have a favorite song? Definitely one last time. Yeah, great, great song. It, it's 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 great. It's a great song in general. It's a it's a dope dope song. I agree. Um, but also like lo- like progression wise of the story for me, like it's the it's the first time that he gets to like really re- reflect on everything he's done and all the the change he's brought to the country and like. He's made a decision that he has to step away and, and just allow it to run itself. Like him being there further could only hinder the growth of this country. And also he is tired. He's yeah. Been a long, long time, you know, in the sixties and just like, I'm tired now, ready to go. Um, and it's the first, literally like every other, if you go to see it again, like every other like win of the show, I still never get a chance to like bask in that win. Right, you know, it's always like the next thing. Work, you know, it's always the next thing. I like, I have a, like a quick, at least the way I play it. But like, uh, I have like a quick nod or a quick like maybe short smile, and then I move on to the next thing. You know, like every single time, like move on to the next thing, and then it's, so one last time, because I'm so in it the whole show. It literally is like, like my blood pressure goes down. I can breathe again deeply. <clears throat> yeah, you know I mean? <clears throat> it's a great Excuse moment as well because he's also like teaching yeah. Hamilton like here's this is another important part of the process is letting go yeah it's letting go yeah yeah it's a great yeah. great moment no, no, no. let go it is great see, yeah and see, it goes I, away. I got kind of lucky I would say in that I knew of Hamilton because who didn't you know it's one of those phenomena that you just catch by osmosis but uh-huh. I hadn't heard any of the music before going in and I hadn't oh, watched, wow. I hadn't watched anything about it I just knew you know, it's about Alexander Hamilton. It was, you know, Lin Manuel Miranda's brain baby. It's got hip hop in it as well. It's supposed to be amazing. I was like, all right, cool. Oh, yeah. So my wife had heard even less about it. So oh, wow. I yeah. know. <laughs> Which you know what? I recommend. And <laughs> going in blind, you get blown away. Like you said when you saw it. You know, it's like yeah. you, you kinda heard yeah. about it and you but like not a whole lot of specifics. Right. So we uh we went to South Bend, Indiana where my wife's family was from. And we're like, you know, Chicago's right there. It's like a two-hour train ride. Hamilton's playing. Let's go check it out. So we oh, yeah. went We went to, uh, it was a Sunday matinee. It was, a two, it was two weeks ago. And uh, man, mm. man, going in blind <laughs> was like one of the greatest things ever. But it's mm. also yeah. fun because uh, when when you experience it that way, you know, it's like you have your cast. You know what I mean? It's like when I went, this, oh, yeah. this was my Hamilton, this is this. So you're my George Washington, which is kind of neat. Yeah. <laughs> so when I listen when I listen to the soundtrack now, I'm like, it's really good. I think, I, think, I was like, I think mine might be a little better. I don't know. It's kind of weird. <laughs> I, I get it. I get it. I totally do. Yeah. You know? I mean, it's your first time. So it's like, yeah, I can't really shake it. Exactly. Like, like uh, it, the first hit's always the hardest. And oh, man, it was good. Yeah, well, thank you. I appreciate it. Sweet. Shout out to Chris Jackson. Chris Jackson is my is my Washington. Yeah, He's there you go. It's like my Hamilton is technically Robert because oh, yeah. he, he was Hamilton that day, and I was like, oh, yes, it's this Hamilton. I got it. Cool. This is my it's cast now." Have mm-hmm. has anyone ever fallen on that stage? Because it spins around. <laughs> <laughs> it does spin. Yeah. Um, yeah. I feel like I've heard of people falling and. It's like I feel like I saw somebody fall one time, but like things happen so quickly that I don't know. And these dancers are spry, okay? They were very fit, and they were young. That's true. <laughs> they turn it into a bend. And whoop. You know what? You know what I mean? Yeah, they would call it falling, and I'm like, I don't know. Like this girl posted a video the other day with the cast, and she was like, "When you almost fall off the stage, and but you make it look cute." And I was watching the video. I was like, <laughs> I don't even, I don't even see you falling right now. I just, I just, <laughs> That's like, that's what that's constitutes a fall. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because if I fall, it's over. You know, I'm just like, oh, <laughs> you know, like, like gravity <laughs> takes hold. <laughs> you know, man, like watch out. I'm going. It's going down. That's I, right. I, it, it's me. You know. That's so, right. Dancers are part of Gumby. <laughs> they they are they, they are they are very strong, fit, beautiful human beings. Um, but uh, I don't know of a lot of stories of people falling. So like that's that's great. 
that's yeah, good. that's that's good. That's good. They just waited. To, I mean, they don't want to do it in front of George Washington. Let's be honest. Yeah, so, yeah. That's, that's <laughs> they wait till you turn around and you just hear like a plat, and then you look back around and they're back on their feet. No, <laughs> they're, qu- exactly. they're quick. They're real quick. They're really, really quick. Yeah. Like, oh, okay. Everything seems to be going well here. All that's right. That's right. Like she said, just make it look cute, and you're good. Yep. That's yeah. it. That's all really? it takes. <laughs> so, yep. what what sort of advice would you give to somebody who wants to get into like Broadway level musicals? Oh man, um, take all of the classes. Like, take everything. I mean, I don't, there's a lot of people I run into sometimes who are like, "Oh, I can." you know, I can do that. Or I, yeah, I thought about acting. I thought about doing that. And it's like, no, you, you, you're talking about it as if it's something you wake up and you're like, oh yeah, I've, I've acted before in a corner. I'm just going to go ahead and audition. Like you can't yeah. do that. Don't, don't make a mistake. <laughs> yeah. Don't, don't make a mistake of thinking this is something, you know, that's just fun and like easy. And you just kind of wake up and like, oh yeah, I read that easy. sermon at church one time out of the, you know, like, yeah, you, I can say a know, line. <laughs> You can say a line. It is not. It is so much more work than people realize. Oh yeah, uh, and that's why, like, when we do our work days are three hours, but the amount of energy it takes to do three hours of a show is like an eight. I've I've done an eight hour gig. I've worked oh. computer computer wise. I've done it, and, and it sucks. But like, uh, not it sucks, but like it's it's it sucks as far as like the hours. Can yeah, suck. of course. But uh. <clears throat> But energy-wise, I'm like, I have not experienced anything like being on stage, feeling a lot, feeling all the emotions. If you're doing it right, you are depleting your whole energy um, and and micromanaging every particular thing you're doing. Like, when you get a foot cramp, dancers call out sometimes because, you know, you can't you can't move with the dexterity and you can't and all that stuff because of a because of a cramp in your foot. We're like, if, right. you know, like some other people, they just like, oh, I'll be fine. I'll just... You know, it'll be wear off tomorrow or whatever. And I'm like, you know, for me, like a common cold to take you out. Like there's just so yeah. much, so much knowledge to gain in that. So like I say, one, don't buy, don't be naive in thinking that it's easy. So do the work. You have to do the work, but love it. It is a beautiful, beautiful career. It is really rewarding. But go and take all the classes, work on yourself as a human in general uh, take the the opera, the piano, take other instruments you can because the musicality has saved my life. My final callback with Alex Akamar, he asked me to sing an aria, and I went oh, back in the room nice. and he was like, "You had a great audition. Did you really? You've already done really well. This is not like going to hinder you at all." But I'm just very curious. I see in your resume you've done opera. Do you have anything by chance? And I was like. <sighs> Yeah, yeah, I do. I don't have my book on me. Um, <laughs> who brings sure. an opera book in Hamilton <laughs> <Well>. audition? <laughs> but, um, but because I'm a pianist and I'm always prepared and I've done the work, I was like, okay. And I asked the pianist to move a little bit while I just figure out the key and my own style of what I wanted to do. I got back up, went to the front of the room, and I sang this Italian art song that my mom really loves. And, um, and I know that was the thing that put me over the edge. Sure. You know, like... Everyone can sing in a way, but like, just <clears throat> so you got to work on yourself wholly, 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 truly, fully. Like, take all the things and just become <laughs> a better person in general. Let like, watch politics, like all of it. Like, really, 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 just I, I, again, don't be naive in thinking this is easy. You have to do the work. It's true. Um, and it's, it's incredibly rewarding. So that's my short spiel there. <laughs> I like it. Anyone can sing, but not everyone can sing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and you do, and it's true because everyone just sees the back end of it. You know, the like the publicity and like, oh, I'm doing this cool thing. You're like, yeah, but you didn't see like the 16 hour day to do this cool thing. Like it's oh, it's yeah. nuts. But it's like that iceberg thing. You know, it's like the success yeah, is what's yeah. above the water, and then every th- an overnight success is 10 years in the making kind of stuff. Yeah, it's yeah. true. It's right. True. Like by the time you hear a name, like you think it's like, oh, they just popped up, they're, they're blowing up right now. But no, they've done the work for a long time, and you just yep. haven't heard about. It. It's true. Yeah. If, if there's <laughs> if there's one thing I've learned from doing this show now for almost four years is that luck yeah. really is preparation meets opportunity, and you yeah. really got to do everything yeah. that you can to hone the craft and be. I love that you said be a better person because you're absolutely right. Like, if you have more layers yeah. to yourself, there's more places you can reach into for roles. You're like, I need to bring this yeah. part out. I need to bring this part out. <clears throat> Whereas if you're a very shallow person, you don't have a well deep enough to grab something from to express. That's, yeah. 
that's absolutely right. That's yeah. absolutely right. Yeah. I mean, traveling, even traveling itself. Traveling oh, dude. It's so good you for so you. Much. <laughs> it's so good for you. You go to, go to a different country, experience different cultures. You can tap into that and realize that we are all <laughs> like the same, but with yes. different cultural things. But like it makes you take in the world and have just a different opinion on things. I feel like it, it makes you less stressed. It makes you just like I agree. Uh, appreciate the world better and then you just are more at peace. 100%. I, I, I tell everybody that. It's like travel. Travel is so good for you. It opens up your mind, shows you there's more, and like it's just, oh, it's the best. It's the best. It's really great. Yeah, yeah. And don't be afraid of counseling. That's another thing. Oh, for real. <laughs> <laughs> that's, something, that's also something like, you know, nobody likes to really talk about. Nowadays, we're starting to talk about it more, but I was like, look, counselors have saved me and just like pulled me out of some times and like, this is great. Yeah, For talk to real. Like, there's no shame in it. Keep yourself sharp. What's the problem with that? Totally agree. Yeah. Nobody really knows what's going on with him. That's why you need an outside. <laughs> That's why you need an outside. Yeah. yeah. Outside opinion. <laughs> it's true. It's true. Man, dude. Can you believe we talking for over an hour already? I literally just looked at the t- I just was like, how long has this been? Yeah, wow. Boom. Okay. It's been 17 hours. <laughs> you, will, you will be billed accordingly. <laughs> I missed my show as well. That's right. Yeah, <laughs> but dude, this has been really fun. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. I've had a great time. I have, man. Yeah, it's been really nice. Nice chatting with you. Right on. So before I forget, I have to ask: uh, Where can people find you online? Yeah, I am at Tamar Green. T A M A R G R E E N E dot com. Find me there, tomorrowgreen.com. I'm also on Instagram, tomorrow.green. Find me on there. Uh, look out for some stuff I've got coming out. So I'm working on some music. I'm doing the Lollapalooza Festival next week. I'll oh, be doing sweet. That'll be awesome, yeah. Doing the uh, next month, we're doing like a Broadway in Chicago summer concert. If you're in Chicago, there's a free summer concert. You can check out the new Broadway shows that are coming in town. And also check me out singing as well with Hamilton. Yeah, uh, killing it. Yeah, yeah, a bunch of bunch of stuff. Yeah, man, look out for some new music I got coming out. I'm doing new music for Lala Pelosi, my original stuff. So, oh sweet, love it, yeah. love it. This was awesome. Yeah. Thanks, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, no problem. And Hello, friends. Thank you so much for listening to this episode of The Interesting Podcast. If you'd like to follow the show, it is at Pod of Interest on Twitter. If you'd like to follow me, I'm at Jedi Brian on all social media sites. If you enjoyed this episode, please share it and tell your friends. Let them know we've got some cool stuff going on over here. Speaking of cool stuff, we now have merch. Just search The Interesting Podcast on tpublic.com to get some sweet gear. Also, I've made a Patreon. So if you'd like to support the show and get access to other exclusive shows... You can now do that at patreon.com slash JediBrian. On that note, special thanks to Chris, Ben, Jim, Daz, Kelly, Daryl, Logan, Victor, and JC. Your support means so, so much, and I cannot tell you how much I appreciate it. So until next time, be well.